What's up everybody, I'm Hoops and Hip Hop. So in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, there are actually a lot of side quests littered throughout the game. Of course, some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller, but one of the most interesting ones happens pretty early on in the game, and here to help me discuss it is my good friend, Hybrid Hero. What's going on guys, Hybrid Hero here. So as Hoops said, one of the most interesting side quests in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon happens pretty early on in the game on Melee Melee Island. Now, consider this your spoiler warning because We'll be going over all the details of the side quest and then telling you guys our theory on it. So to summarize the side quest, on Melee Melee Island, you'll find a kid on Big Wave Beach who'll tell you that the trainer school is haunted. And once you beat the coon of this island, you'll get the chance to see if this trainer school is really haunted or not. Well, once you beat Hala, you can head over to the trainer school at night and you'll find that it does indeed seem to be haunted. You'll find a little girl and her Drifloon at the front of the school, and she'll tell you in a somewhat broken dialect that the school has seven mysteries that need to be solved. Now to sum it up pretty basically, you'll go through these mysteries and solve them one by one, finding that most of them seem to simply be a child's misunderstanding. However, by the time that the side quest is completed, it is heavily implied that the girl you spoke to at the front of the school is a ghost, and even though the side quest is now complete, it'll be sure to leave you with more questions than answers. Once you finish the side quest, you can go back to the school and find a diary that gives you a bit of backstory on the situation. Apparently, as stated, this ghost girl was new to the school at one point, and every day her Hypno, who we also saw in one of the mysteries, would stop by to pick her up. Now, I'm sure some of you are asking the question, why would a little girl own a Hypno? And why would it be helping her considering this Pokemon's, well, past with children? Well, according to his dex entries in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Hypno rarely harms people in Alola because its main target is Komala. And there's even been times where it helped people out. Getting back to the diary though, it mentions that one day Hypno did not come to pick up the girl and it was a Drifloon that came to pick her up instead. So as I said earlier, all of this leaves us with a lot of questions. How exactly did this girl die, and why does she speak in such broken English? Additionally, why did Hypno not return that fateful day to come pick up the girl, and what was its role in the school's mysteries? And finally, for that matter, why is the school itself even haunted in the first place? Well, we believe that the culprit in all this is Drifloon. You might have been able to guess that Drifloon probably killed this little girl based on its previous dex entries, and that's what we believe as well. However, it gets a little more sinister than that, because we're pretty certain that this Drifloon killed the girl's Hypno as well in order to get her. Now you might be wondering why Drifloon would even kill a fellow Pokemon, or how it could even pull it off. And once again, we can look to the Pokedex, where this is all explained pretty clearly. In Drifloon's dex entries, it states that it is made from the spirits of people and Pokemon. And according to its new Ultra Sun dex entry, its body expands each time it leads someone away. So we believe that once this girl landed in Alola and started attending the trainer school, this Drifloon made her its target. And in order to get her and satisfy its appetite for spirits, Drifloon ended up killing Hypno as well. So that's kind of like the major subject of this theory, but there are still some things that need explaining, like why did the girl speak in such broken English? Whenever you talk to her, you can understand what she's saying, but it's clear that she doesn't have a full grasp on the English language. She also mentions that she is from somewhere far away, and we believe that somewhere far away is the Kalos region. If you think about it, there aren't too many characters in the Pokemon games who speak as if they're not fluent in the native language of the region that you're in, so when the little girl started speaking this way, it reminded me of another character who did this same thing, and that would be Fantina from Diamond and Pearl. Even though Fantina was a gym leader in the Sinnoh region, it's heavily implied that she's actually from Kalos, based on the fact that she does not speak fluent English just like this little girl, and also uses French words when you talk to her. The other thing that connects this girl to Fantina is her Drifloon. Fantina also owns a Drift Blim, so between these two significant similarities, we feel it's likely that this little girl is originally from the Kalos region. Another factor that's worth noting is why the school is even being haunted in the first place. We mentioned earlier that most of these mysteries were either just childlike misunderstandings or they were a prank caused by Drifloon. And once again, we believe that Drifloon is the cause of all this. We think that once Drifloon got its hands on the little girl, it wanted to continue going after the souls of little children, and so it set up camp at the trainer school in order to do so. Now again, you might be wondering why Drifloon would want to haunt the school in an attempt to attract kids there, but it actually makes a ton of sense. As we mentioned, many of the mysteries seem to be things that a child would blow out of proportion, 
and we even see a few adults throughout the side quest who joke around about the whole situation. We also see that the only characters ever discussing this haunting are the kids of Mele Mele Island. And with all this to consider, a grim picture starts to come together. With children being Drifloon's primary target, it decides to play on their childlike tendencies and even visiting the school to investigate for themselves. And once they did, that's when it would strike. The final piece of this mystery also seems to be the most out of place, and that would be Hypno's role in this story. In the ghost class mystery, we stumble upon a classroom that is filled with kids, but is no more than an apparition created by Hypno. Here we get even more evidence that this Hypno is the little girl's, because after solving the mystery, she mentions that she's happy that the Hypno still remembers her. But if this Hypno is the little girl's, why would it be creating this illusion, and how could it even pull it off if it's dead as we suggest? In the ghost class mystery, if you talk to the teacher and ultimately have Hypno reveal itself to you, it will say the phrase, I Drif Loon Child Lonely. Well, we believe this Hypno, even though it's dead, is still trying to help the little girl. Based on this broken and nonsensical phrase, not only is it possible that Hypno could be saying, I was killed by Drifloon, which adds even more evidence to the theory that it was killed by Drifloon, we also believe that Hypno created this illusion of a full classroom as a way to try and give its former trainer some company from beyond the grave, and as with the other mysteries, was misunderstood as being some sort of haunting. As for how exactly Hypno could pull this off despite being dead, well, it's not exactly the first time we've seen the spirit of a dead Pokemon stick around in order to help someone out. Obviously, we all know of the ghost of Cubone's mother, and this is the same sort of situation, where the caretaker was abruptly killed, and now it's sticking around in order to look after the person it cared for. And if you needed any more evidence that Hypno is actually dead, well, it participates in the mystery that is known as Ghost Class, and while that refers to the apparitions themselves, it could also be a reference to the fact that Hypno itself is also dead. So to summarize and really put all this together, this little girl moved to Alola, possibly from Kalos, and began attending the trainer's school. Every day after school, her Hypno would come to pick her up, but unfortunately, she caught the attention of a Drifloon who decided to make her its target. In order to get her, the Drifloon killed Hypno and then successfully killed the little girl as well. And it even proceeded to haunt the trainer's school in order to attract more children. With Hypno being mercilessly killed, its spirit stuck around the school in order to protect the little girl and give her some company after death. This side quest is actually a really accurate representation of these new dex entries that we received for these Pokemon. And it's definitely one of the coolest side quests in these games. And there you go guys, that was our theory on the mysterious trainer school haunting in Ultra Sun and Moon. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. If you came over from Hybrid's channel, make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon content every week. However, we're not quite done yet because we're also going to be talking about another theory on another side quest over on Hybrid Heroes channel that may or may not have something to do with a certain mysterious old man. So click the link in the end card or in the description and follow us on over there. And until the next one, as always, I will smell you guys later.